Atheist Republic sells first NFT sexy Kali collection. Armin, take it away. All right. So I know a lot of people hate NFTs. I want to make sure that I tell people that we did our research to do this. Um, and we're still open to criticism, right? Um, and I want to make sure that we do this right. Okay. And the goal for this is to get Kali back. All right, we're bringing sexy Kelly back, especially on Twitter. Okay, so the, we're using the power of the blockchain to bring Hindu goddess Kalima back on Twitter and everywhere else, and spread her everywhere. Okay, it's just to make sure that, like that, all the because he. Let me tell you that the Hindutva IT cell has been very successful on Twitter in fighting against um, the spread of our blasphemous art. Right, so we have managed to be our spread our blasphemous art everywhere right but like for some reason these people are very like very good at just blocking us on twitter right so we are now using the power of nft and blockchain to encourage people to make cali cali must spread in a way that it's unremovable okay so for people and so for people who think like NFTs are scams, like I did a lot of research into making sure that we do this in not, not a scammy way because the, and not a, and also an environmentally friendly way. Okay. Uh, let me tell you. So the link to this is in the description and I priced these NFTs at, a, at, at the, at the lowest, at the lowest price that it allows. Right. So these are not like those NFTs that people are seeing that they're, they're going for, thousands and thousands of dollars like i priced these at like three dollars four dollars right and i also pri I minted them on the polygon blockchain so the gas fees are extremely low right so it's not like those hundreds of dollars of gas fees that people are paying so i minted 10 um calima nfts for sale and two of them are already Two of them are already taken. You can see there's three owners. So we just want to make sure that all 10 of them go. And again, this is, guys, these are like really, really cheap, right? So if you go. Yeah, most are you, only like $5 USD. Three, two, five dollars right like that, right? So we started with the lowest price and then we had to do a stag, you know, staggering price. Like, so it just increased it by very, very low every time, right? Um, but the goal is, like, if you listen, if you read this, okay, I'm going to read this. Um, I said, use the hashtag sexy Cali to share or sell your Cali NFT. We'll retweet it on Atheist Republic Twitter account, which has more than a hundred, more than a hundred, 130,000 followers. Right? So we don't want you to just buy them. We want you to buy them and then try to resell it as a profit. Okay. So I'm not, by the way, this is not financial advice and I'm not telling you that you're going to make a profit at this, but I'm hoping that we could. Um, make it work so that you buy it and then you sell it at a higher price okay so and we're going to try to and you can like ta use a sexy cali hashtag to mention that you have this nft multiple times and we will try to help you sell it multiple times or once you buy it right so we're selling it to you like for example look at this one this one is being sold. The goal is not to for us to like make like a shit ton of money out of this. The goal is to just spread sexy Cali, right? So we're selling this one at like three dollars, okay? Three dollars, like one thousandth of an ETH. Okay, so this is all right. So let's go back actually. Wait, hold on, how do you go back? Um, let me come off a full screen here. So it continues and and um, the description says in tw in 2020. Many were, so we give us the history of sexy Cali and what this is about for people. Like I know a lot of you already know, but we put this here so to show people why are we doing this and the significance of this, right? It says in 2020, uh, oh, Susanna wrote this by the way. Many were angered by Atheist Republic's art of a sexy version of the Hindu deity Cali. Uh, the Universal um, Hindu uh, Council filed a report against us with the Delhi police and Mumbai police for allowing blasphemous content to be featured on Twitter. An Indian attorney filed a public interest lit litigation before the Supreme Court of India to hold, hold on, let me stop this, to hold social media, where is this? To hold social media companies directly responsible 
for the content on their platforms, naming us as a reason that the government should establish um, officers that investigate hate speech. Our Kalima project sends numerous powerful messages wrapped in a sexy package. When we blaspheme, we actively participate in breaking taboos and normalizing dissent. We are taking up the mantle of changing um, draconian blasphemy laws, right? Challenging so guys, draconian blasphemy. Challenge. What did I say? Changing. <laughs> challenging okay yeah same thing all right so guys the goal is to f not for people to just get these nfts the goal is to get the nfts and go on twitter and say like use the sexy i saw somebody okay i'm going to show you what somebody did okay use the sexy cali and if um, hashtag to to tweet their nfts all right and link to it and also try to sell it again at a higher price and make a profit out of it okay again i'm not saying any of this works it might work it might not work okay but just it's only 10 of them there's only 10 of them and two of them have already sold like if we click on the activity you can see that these two are already sold but one of them is they already like look the which one so if i bring this person for example you can see nilofar bought one of them so there's eight of them left and she tweeted about it she said check out my nft and she linked to it right um, and then she used the hashtag sexy Kelly, right? So you can see that she bought it. I don't, I, I don't know how much, and now she's reselling it at $45. So she's trying to sell it and now. This one is the only blue Kali. Like when I was checking yes, out her listings, I was like, oh my yeah, God, this... the blue one is already gone. Damn. I wanted it. <laughs> well, the blue one is already gone, which is the original color, but she, she is now reselling it at a much higher price. So you could still get it at the higher price that she, she bought it from um but guys we are already two out of ten is already gone one of them that okay this one where's number one kelly number one this person bought it and hasn't put it up for sale so this one you can't buy it anymore because the person that is not if you want if you go to if you go to the link i already made the link that shows you buy now the only buy so it only nine of them are available for sale right so guys, if you buy them, make sure you put it like don't just hold on to it. Put it up for resale for at a higher price, and we'll again I, we'll help you market it. Okay, again, no guarantees. So th the reason why I'm saying this is not a scam is because I constantly I'm telling you that there's no guarantees. Okay, so that you're gonna be able to. And oh, another reason why I know we're doing this ethically is that we minted all of this on the Polygon blockchain, not on the Ethereum blockchain, on the Polygon blockchain. So you can see all of them have says polygon polygon there's two significant things about this blockchain okay so all of these say polygon 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 okay so the main thing is that it's environmentally friendly so this is not like this is proof of stake not proof of work that means that all you need to do know is like there's not a, lot, a shit ton of energy being used to mint these nfts okay so if you were like oh i don't like nfts because of the environmental damage well these are minted on polygon so this is environmentally friendly the second significant thing about this being on the Polygon blockchain is, do you know what it is, Susanna? Um, I actually don't. You won't guess. You don't. You won't be able to guess it. That Polygon is an Indian blockchain. This is a blockchain oh! that was made by. Yes. <laughs> Polygon blockchain, unlike the Bitcoin blockchain, unlike the Ethereum blockchain, the Polygon blockchain is made by Indian developers. It was it was founded in India. So it's so poetically fitting that Kalima um, mint NFTs are minted on an Indian blockchain. Isn't that full isn't circle? That, isn't full that circle, beautiful? Bro. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> that, I love oh, yeah. it. I, I, I thought that was beautiful. That that was so poetic. <laughs> I love how excited you are. It's adorable. Yeah, by the way, he's an okay. So I tell you, I want to like um we don't have much excuses to talk about a lot of good news from India or because we usually talk about religion. This is one thing now we have an excuse. India is like a major hub of entrepreneurship and new tech, okay? And Polygon is the number one layer two blockchain, layer two solution on the Ethereum blockchain, right? So you can show, and I'm, I'm also happy, another news is that India decided on, to go against, unlike China, India decided to regulate the blockchain instead of 
banning the blockchain, which means that India is going to lead the way, unlike China, when it comes to these kind of technology. So you can see that India, these are some good news. And India is the perfect, India is such a major hub for new technology and entrepreneurship. So, and they're going to lead, and they are, I was going to say they're going to lead the way. They are already leading the way in this. Okay, the Polygon blockchain is a serious, serious new innovation. And I think people should be celebrating that this is something that is coming out of India. Okay, so there's that. Um, Do you know where the well, servers me... for the Polygon blockchain are? Because people are concerned that their servers will fall under Indian jurisdiction. It's a blockchain. The servers are spread across the planet. Well, yes. So there's no, it's not centralized, right? Well, do you, in general, are they subject to Indian jurisdiction? I mean, it's decentralized, no, that, so kind of like it's, this is it's already, this is why it's already this there. Is, it's already this is why I'm saying this is why we're using the power of the blockchain to spread the uh, our uh, the message, Cal, Kalima, sexy Cali, but uh, and spread the message of like fighting for free speech and you know spreading normalizing blasphemy. This is why we're using the power of the blockchain because it's unremovable, right? It's immutable it's like it's basically on the blockchain it's not centralized and no power on the goddamn planet could remove this that's the whole point of making kalima nfts is because like we'll remove like hey hindutva it cells or whatever remove this if you can right you can't right so this is why we're doing we're using like you know yeah so that's the whole point right and let me actually i had a few notes about this um, oh, by the way, the butthead was already there. Uh, there was people tweeting about. This. I, I should have, I should have um, saved the butthead over this. Category. Guys, this is like this is like us getting back of all the for all the uh, attacks that we got, because the first tweet that Nilufar had. I wish I saved the first tweet. Hold on. She, oh, here. Let me actually. I can find it. You can see. <laughs> I did you can see, see like this is going like, after her in the. The first tweet, yeah. Yeah, in the comments. Like, okay. So this is the first tweet. I told I reached out to her, told her to use the correct hashtag because her first hashtag. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this the first time she didn't use the correct hashtag, but somebody was like, Oh, wait. Oh uh, wow. Okay, so somebody said your mother. <laughs> uh you're already you already seeing the butt hurt, right? But there's two oh other replies God. that have been that have been removed because they violated Twitter rules. <laughs> you can see that she's already <laughs> she's already getting so predictable. Getting them so backlash, okay? So guys, this needs to like th there's power in numbers. Like we want people to get the NFTs, but no, also not hold on to it because if people keep passing it on from one person to another, you really can't target each individual, right? So that's the whole point. And make sure you use the hashtag so that we retweet you. Um, again, um, you might make hashtag a profit out of Cali, it. Hashtag Sexy correct? Or what, what hashtag? Hashtag Sexy Cali, yes. It's okay. in, you can see every NFT that you click on will have the message here that of what hashtag to use and how we're going to retweet you. Okay. Uh, they're very cheap, environmentally friendly. I already said that. Every time you buy one of these, it gets on the blockchain. No force can remove it. I already mentioned that. The idea, okay, so this is what I mentioned. The idea is to bring Sexy Cali back on Twitter where her Dutva has the upper hand, but this time it's on the blockchain, so they can't remove it. Um, okay, I also wanted to make sure that we are not promising that you're making you're, that you're going to make any money out of this. So we can't be scamming you, okay? This is not a scam because we're not promising you that you're going to make money. You might make money, you might make a profit, but you might not, okay? If the project picks up, you might be able to resell it at a higher price. The, but the main goal is to bring Sexy Kelly back, okay? So if you make a profit, that's just a bonus. So make sure you tweet about it, okay? Don't use the wrong hashtag. Um, and make sure if you sell it, you sell it at a higher price. Make sure you sell it at a higher price that doesn't, um, that doesn't just cover the price that you bought it from, but also the gas fee that you paid for, right? So... Um, the gas fee is going to be, I don't know, I think maybe like it's like if the if it was on the Ethereum blockchain, I think the gas the gas fee would have been like a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. But I think the gas fee on the polygon blockchain is like thirty dollars or something like that, right? So make sure that if you resell it, you you make a profit on top of everything that you pay, right? But also there's also a 10%, um, just to be fully transparent with everybody. Where is it? I don't know where you get the information. But there's also a 10% 10, 10 creator fee, which um, if this picks up, we're going to use that 
to maybe do another NFT collection at some point with the Sita and Kalima cup uh, together when they were kissing. Oh, so that would we'll be do. so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we will do that more seriously because this was our first attempt. Well, I mean, not more seriously. Like, yeah, no, let's just focus on this one right now. Okay, this is only 10. If this is successful, maybe we'll do another set at some point. Okay, maybe, maybe not. But let's just focus on Kalima right now. Again, link is the in the description. I think it's the top link right now. Um, so check it out. Um, all right. Anything in the comment about this? Because I want to see what people think about this. Because I want to make sure we do this. Like, oh, people are very excited. Way. Oh, really? They're very excited. People are like, you oh. know, I've been I've been avoiding the NFT blockchain space, but like now, this has oh, really? me interested. <laughs> guys, oh, I yeah. made sure this is yeah. Guys, check it out. I made it really, really cheap. Okay, like this is not the prices that you are usually familiar with on the NFT world, right? Um, you know, this is but yeah. And also, if you do tweet about it, you could like use, you know, some, you could use this description he has as, as inspiration as what to put in the caption to maybe tell people what the whole point is as well. So that would like get more interest in it as well. Like, don't like, you could like, you could be like, Hey, here's my NFT. You could buy it. Or you could like also mention like what you could add some information about this is supposed to be fighting blasphemy laws or promoting free speech or this is like our way of getting back at people who try to erase us for because accuse you know anything you want right but the the language here could give you experience you, and you don't have to if you think like oh that's too much work i don't want to have to come up with a caption then it's okay you could just be like here's my nft here's my kalima nft uh go buy it and we will still we'll still retweet you okay we might quote tweet you and add our own caption so if you can't come up with a caption yourself um and you could do it many times you don't have to tweet it once like if you have, keep wanting to promote your sexy cali nft we'll retweet you multiple times as well cool 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 until it sells yeah all right cool this is great this i'm, is I'm excited exciting. this is like very such a cool idea you came up with this is like been yeah. armin's secret project <laughs> yeah and guys because because there's a lot of shady stuff that might happen in this space if you think we're doing something that is not ethically right or like maybe like let us know so we could correct for that okay because i want to make sure that we, it's pointed out to us if we're not doing something that is like you think like it might be scammy or it's not being fully transparent about some things like we will we will we'll listen and we'll try to make make sure we do it the right way yeah oh. this is just like <laughs> a you. fun way to spread sexy kali yeah. so black oh yeah it is <laughs> uh blank name saying nft is confusing well guys um it will guide you like if you go click on like you don't have to like become really educated it will you probably are going to need like a metamask wallet right to buy one right but it will just guide you like hey you want to buy this where's your metamask wallet and then you're like okay i'm gonna it just walks you through the step you go and like how do i get a metamask wallet and you get it and then once you have it then you could buy this nft or any other nfts that you want right but it will it's kind of like installing a software or, or adding a browser to your adding an extension to your browser right it's nothing like if you already have extensions on your browser then you already have the technical know-how to be able to do this like it will it's a step-by-step -step thing that will just walk you through it right so it's not that complicated uh, it might Redresh seem like very complicated yeah go redress is concerned that the structure that you've come up with is a pyramid scheme it, yeah so this is why i'm saying that you you might not make your money back right so that's why i mentioned that like five or six times right so i keep saying a pyramid scheme it would be like hey buy this and sell it at a higher price and i this is a good way for you to make income we're saying this is not a way to make profit it might make you profit it might not make you profit okay our goal is to spread sexy cali so we i'm trying to be very careful with the language by saying that you you might want to just own sexy cali for just like enjoying to own. No, you don't have to resell it i'm like i want one just to have it <laughs> well i <laughs> like mean i mean if, if you have one and you don't resell it okay then then it's not going to keep spreading you know what i mean i want these 10 i want these 10, 10 sexy calories to keep exchanging hats you might even sell it you might even sell it as a, at a loss okay 
So if you sell it at a loss, I mean, if you want to, if you really want to hold it, I guess you could hold it. There's nobody that could force you to resell it, right? But it would be a pyramid scheme if I wasn't telling you that I want you to sell it even if you're selling it at a loss, because a pyramid scheme is supposed to promise you profits, and I'm not promising. We're not promising you any profits. We're pro we're, pro we're what we're suggesting is that this is a way to spread Cali, you know, everywhere on the internet in a way that is unremovable, right? So if I was promising you that you're going to make money out of it, this would be a scheme. That's what, okay? Does that make sense? Because I want to yeah. make sure that we're not doing anything sketchy here. Atheist Republic needs your help. We've been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.